A reading from the book of Todd the Spicy. And it came to pass in the house of Todd that there was great consternation and disagreement amongst his followers, for none of them could decide what to watch on television that night. And Todd, being wise, said unto them, Let's just watch some Trailer Park Boys. That show is really funny. And there was peace and calm in the house of Todd, for that show was really funny. Here endeth the reading. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Honey. I joined a cult where we just figured out how hamburgers work. We're very excited about this in the Church of Todd the Spicy. Let's get a bunch of burgers ordered. Well, I say a bunch. I can't actually afford any until um, until the followers come in and start giving us their delightful tax-deductible donations here. All right, we'll wait a little bit. They're in here. It's coming. All right, we, we've got some money now. Let's get some burgers ordered for the crew here. It's going to be lovely. Let's get, we'll get off the gruel for right now, and we'll get into some burgers. So buy those ingredients, please. And then do we then have to go and prepare these. I believe we're auto-preparing these, although I've always been a little fussy about the pause and play aspect of that. All right, what else have we got going on around the house of Todd? The pool of revelations up and running, up and running. It's not very prestigious in here, but it's up and running. So theoretically, when our followers go through this pool, we'll find out their traits, and we might be able to snag some well, higher quality followers. Now, everyone is blessed in the eyes of Todd, but some of you are better than others. Speaking of followers, let's get some more research going on here. What could we be doing to get more followers? What would be the next step in that faith cap up follower cap? There we go. We're going to have to go through quite a bit to get there. We're going to have to go through a silver idol and the faith cap and extra faith in the sermon. All right, we'll get it started at least. Just go ahead and get that started. It's not exactly where I want to go with our research, but it'll start to get us in a direction I want to go in. Ah, there's the holy fish of Todd that he caught himself. And let's make sure we get another mission going on too. Could we get a level three PR campaign going? M of Todd, blessed above all others in Todd's sight. Go ahead and begin that mission, please. Let's make sure everybody knows about the Church of Todd the Spicy, how awesome our $6 yoga is, and you can sit in a bath of maggots if you're so inclined to do so. I also wouldn't mind getting another We Who Are Todd, accepting another follower into the church would be fantastic. Ah, good, we're making burgers. Excellent. All right, so that means I'm going to need another bedroom around here somewhere. Let's start to make that happen. It's going to cost some money, but you can have a basic bed up here and a storage locker right there. And then obviously you're going to need some things. Ideally, first and foremost, a picture of Todd right next to your bed. Now, what could I afford that could actually get the prestige up in here? Obviously, we'll give you a rug right by your storage locker. That'll be nice, it'll be soft underfoot while you're going through your private possessions there. What could we do with maybe, I don't know, a plant or filing cabinet? Are you a filing cabinet kind of person? Have this potted plant right at the foot of your bed and then maybe a lamp could live up here. Not bad, it's a 16 prestige, I can kind of cope with that. How about a mirror so you can reflect on the majesty of Todd? Speaking of Todd, let's get Todd doing something around here. Yeah, add that mission to the map, please. When M gets back, we'll see if we can send somebody out to acquire another dark object around here. We do, of course, have in the new Cathedral of Todd, the Holy Butter Knife of Todd. It says dagger, but you can clearly see it's the Holy Butter Knife of Todd. We thought it was under the fridge, but somebody else had stolen it. But we've got it back. It's been returned to the church. And of course, Kearns of Todd preaching to the faithful here because the acoustics are so good in the Cathedral of Todd that you can sit all the way at the back and hear Kearns of Todd absolutely perfectly. People are just loving, loving the new Cathedral of Todd to the tune of $5.8 every time Kearns of Todd says something. Now, I see that Louis here, or Lewis, I'm not sure. I'm going to call you Lewis. Lewis has a bunch of unknown traits. 
far more than the average follower that comes in the door. That might lead me to believe that you're slightly better than everybody else, but of course, unless you go through the pool of revelations, there's no way to know what your traits are. I wonder if there's any way to force them to go through the pool of revelations. Oh, M of Todd is done. Cool. Good job, M. We've got the object acquisition mission up and running, but I'm going to do a covert op on that. Uh, make sure we kind of scout the location out if we're going to be reclaiming, not stealing, reclaiming another holy object of Todd, like the butter knife, then we're going to want to make sure we can get in and out of there very quickly. Yep, everyone hustle in. Hustle in. Todd is about to speak. Now, I know I have heard the rumors, too, from the Caicos down the street that there is some sort of spy, some sort of Caicos spy in the Church of Todd. This is, of course, inconceivable. All of we who are Todd are trusted and blessed in Todd's sight. It is simply not rational that any one of them would have ulterior motives. We're simply going to brush that aside like it was the nothing that it is, like it was the fake news that it is. Once again, they're just trying to stir up things that don't exist. And once again, let's get some food coming in because we go through food ridiculously fast around here. I'm going to get gruel and burgers in. I feel... I feel like they ate all of the burgers that I just ordered and prepared in one day. It does seem that we go through an, an awful lot of food. I know I'm, I've never fully understood how the food works around here, except the vending machines. Those are pretty self-explanatory, but we order a bunch of food and then we never have food. You know what? We got the darkness theme going on. Let's flip around our outfits, too. We have our fantastic little beanie hats here with the dark emblem on it. Let's go for the shirts as well. So everyone's changing their look around here. Oh, it just looks all heavy metal around the base now. It's looking fantastic. Another bright and sunny day. People are pouring in for $6 yoga and electroshock therapy. Sorry, energy spa treatments. And more people in the hypno room. Good to see that. Lots of people turning up to see the ghosts today. And they are, of course, very real ghosts. The projector here is not a scam. It's just illuminating spirits that you could not otherwise see. Wow, reception is really, really packed. Holy moly, reception is packed. All right, a uh, fraction of Todd was injured. Somebody have a rumbly tummy? Yeah, dirty hands whilst eating. That's okay, we'll figure that out. All right, we've done the extra faith thing, the extra faith research. What else could we be doing? I do want to get down to the follower cap up, but are there any nifty new rooms? We could get to discombobulation therapy. That would not be bad. And room boost. That would be a little perk that Todd could give people. Heat reduction missions, sure. Sure, absolutely, that's um, that's a thing we could do. Pool of Revelations leads to what? The Fixed Drill. Ooh, Meditation Studio Upgrade. Yeah, let's get that. We could get some more yoga mats in there. See, again, I'm just, I'm, I'm fuzzy on this. We just ordered ingredients, and it's saying we have no ingredients. Is there some sort of delivery time that I'm not aware of? Buy some gruel. Okay, 20 out of 100. And then buy some burger stuff. Okay, th uh, yeah, order that. 31 out of 100. All right, if I see we have no food at, at like an hour from now, I'm going to be very suspect about the food delivery system in this town. No, you're right, Em. It could be the cakeists. They could be intercepting our delivery and then just stealing our food. It's entirely possible. No, that's a very valid point, Em of Todd. Very valid point. They could just be ripping us off. We just like them. Todd's feeling a little sad about his room. He's saying he has a bad room. Come here, Todd. Come here. Yeah, you have an awful room. Okay. Well, what's the prestige in there? 17? There's worse rooms, Todd. Come on, man. All right, let's see if we can perk that up a little bit for you. How about we did, I don't know, some more, some more decor. You do have a very gray rug, that's true. Ah, uh, you don't have a lava lamp yet. People like to have lava lamps. I can even put it on your table there. There, now it's 19. What else could... Do you, want a, do you want a different light? Now you've got a couple of lights in there. You already have a potted plant. How about a bookcase? You can read about yourself. And then... I don't know. What would you like? Do you want a mirror? You can have a mirror. Um, I don't know where it's going to live, but you can have a mirror. It can live over there. 
Alright, 20 prestige. Todd, I'm doing the best I can, man. Speaking of prestige, we should probably perk up the pool of revelations here. So let's get that and let's have a nice little coffee table so you can wait over here and talk about your traits with your trait pool revelation-y kind of guy who works with you. And then maybe, yeah, some bookcases. I think that's fair. And a cupboard. That could be over there. And then, of course, some kind of rug, because, you know, rugs exist. So we're going to put some rugs around. Uh, yeah, we did our sermon. Nice little three-star sermon there from Todd. I have a rug right here. How'd we do on prestige? 32. Not bad at all. Oh, looking good. Some folks taking advantage of the infernal heat room over here. The nice sauna. They're all in their little towels enjoying the sauna here. Very good. The yoga doing very well. We're going to make that bigger soon, guys. We're going to have more opportunities for more $6 yoga. Yeah, everyone's just kind of filing out for the day. Well, at least filing out for lunch anyway. A sermon being preached by no one at all, but yet they're still enjoying the holy word of Todd. Oh, what a surprise. We're starving. Where, where, where does the food go, guys? What, what are we doing? What are we doing with the food over here? Because we, we keep ordering food and, and you keep not having food. Okay, am I not preparing it? We have ingredients. Maybe somebody's just not into cooking it right now. Okay, somebody, somebody is over here cooking. That's fine. You are, yeah, Zach, you are one of our primary cooks over here. Okay, hopefully that's going to sort itself out, I think. Do, do we have... Do we have food? Todd, you're still looking sad. What's your problem here? Oh, sermon drain. Yeah, it is... It is very tiring to preach the love and the truth and the light and the wisdom and the tax exemption of Todd the Spicy night after night. I, I see where you're coming from, man. You go have a nice little sleep and reflect on the beauty that is Todd the Spicy and your rocket ship. Reflect on that, too. It's fun. I'm just sitting here keeping an eye on food while breakfast is going down. I want—I don't want to see people getting more than one burger. It's just one burger for breakfast here. 42. All right. Is that enough food for the rest of the day, people? Because it's getting a little silly with the burgers. Claire, I'm going to spin you not away from research, but I want to put you into bringer of revelations because intelligence is a good trait for that room and obviously being our researcher you are maxed out or at least as much as you can be in your intelligence i want to get some more of our day-to-day -day followers going through the pool of revelation figure out what's going on with them somebody was injured somebody's got a bit of a rumbly tummy well if you stopped pounding down burgers like they were going out of style look at all those burgers disappearing just maybe you wouldn't be sick to your stomach if you didn't have six burgers at a time. All right, we got our covert op done. Let's get this mission taken care of here. I could just send M, but I'm going to send somebody else. I'll send Aaliyah. I never send Aaliyah on anything. Off you go, Aaliyah. You join M. M will kind of show you the ropes around these out of the camp, out of the compound missions. She's the best. She's blessed above all others in Todd's sight. Ah, there we go. We got somebody using the pool of revelations. Okay. Who are you again? Uh, ben. Ben. Okay. Well, Ben, we're probably not going to recruit you right now. Although, you do have five traits. Interesting. There's a lot going on with you, Ben, and a quick trip in the bathtub here might reveal it. All right, now we know about Ben. You are, in fact, very poor. Very poor quality. You have a bad memory. Minus one to all skills. Wow. You hate the little puzzle thing. You're strange and you have uncontrolled rage. Yeah, we're not recruiting you, Ben. Thank you for stopping by. That's okay. We got somebody else right in the bathtub here. Sal! Sal Serpico. Oh, what a fantastic name. Are you named after the movie? Please say yes on both counts. All right, Sal, talk to me. What do you got? You are still very poor quality, but you're ambitious. You'll gain XP more quickly. Button basher, disorganized, and strange. All right, I'm going to... Sal, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep your resume on file. And we're going to look at some other applicants. In the meantime, Aaliyah and M are done, and we have an axe. Oh, good. We'll look forward to that. All right, so we're a little bit darker. There's a little more heat on us, but we've got an axe. Excellent. Come back home, guys. Well, I think that should go right in the pool of revelations as a reminder to people that they could be cut at any time. 
from the wisdom and the light and the beauty and the tax exemption of ta 2200 bucks for an axe? I can get one at Home Depot for like 50 bucks. I want to get a new mission going. Let's start a covert operation on that PR campaign. Get our public relations up. Make sure everybody knows about the Church of Todd the Spicy and how important it is that you come in and don't have very, very poor quality. Another sermon, a little low on Todd here. Todd is very, very tired. Todd's exceptionally tired. It's very hard to be Todd. All right, a bright and early morning here. I've ordered some more burger meat, and Elizabeth is over here cooking some, so hopefully we won't all starve today, because that seems to be a perpetual thing. Ah, you're in the Pool of Revelations, Oscar. You only have three traits. I don't like the sound of you already, but we'll take a look. Well, Rebecca here may not make the cut either. Very poor quality. You hate slot machines. You hate puzzles. You're rotten. You're actually just rotten. Like, like your max hygiene is down. You're, you're actually rotting. You might be a zombie. And that's about it, though, for the Pool of Revelations. Just those three that we've already seen. Not really, not really loving any of them. We gotta get these PR missions going here. We are doing our covert op on the other one, so that'll get going soon. PR of 309 out of 1,000. That's not bad. That's like a third of the third of the way to the top of the whole public relations game. We should all be so lucky. And Adam here going out, seeing if we can recruit some more higher quality followers for the church. Maxwell here is complaining about a lack of cake. Maxwell, bad taste, man. Bad taste. You come in and you ask for some cake. We've got burgers and we've got gruel, but you're looking for cake. I... Here's the thing, Maxwell. Here's the thing. Here's what I'm going to say about that. It is not... A pa no, it is It is very, very yummy. You're right. It would be nice to have some cake around the compound. You're not wrong about that. But it's like a thing, man. You know, they're down the street. It's in a little bit bad taste to just go in and ask about cake in the Church of Todd the Spicy. Not really a lot to be spending our money on, so I'm just kind of perking up... Oh, thank you, Todd. Um, good, good sermon today. I'm just kind of perking up people's rooms a little bit uh you could maybe you can have a filing cabinet there and who else would like a thing i'm giving away things right now you could have a bookcase uh why don't you have a you've already got a table you can have a table actually you got a lot of stuff you're kind of cleaning up around here oh you have a very bare room let's get you something how about a stone stool and a stone table Oh, how much are you loving life right now? Not that much, actually. It's only a prestige of 16. Okay, uh, how about a table lamp and a table mirror? Can we get that to live like that? How are we doing? 19. Whew, okay. Now, Maxwell, it's not even on the menu here. Gruel, burger, or meat and veg. That's what we got, and we can't even do meat and veg right now, so we're getting some more gruel in play. There is no cake available. Right, with the covert ops done, let's get somebody in here. M of Todd, you are, of course, the one that I trust to get the job done when it comes to these outside missions. Overnight, because I just had the money to do it, I've started laying the foundations down for a new yoga studio, because we should be done researching that momentarily. And this is just not going to be big enough to do what I want to do, so we're going to shift everything over there. In fact, there's no specific reason I can't get that started now. Let me, uh... We start moving some things around here. So this over here is going to be the thing that I want it to be. What do we actually call that? Meditation studio. Right. Just going to shift everything from one place to another. And then we'll deconstruct. Well, not deconstruct, but at least dezone the other. Come here, mirror. Come here. Dezone the other room. And that can be something else down the road that I haven't fully decided on yet. And this room can be just unassigned. All right, we'll leave that vacant for right now. I'm sure I'll figure out something to put there later. Uh, problem with Claire coming down to the old pool of revelations here is Claire's not doing any more research. She's very, very focused on this. So Claire, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take you off of this. I want I want the uh, pool of revelations up and running. No, don't not do it. Just don't make it a high priority. I need you back in research, Claire. You're my ace researcher. And the PR mission is finished, so we'll turn that in. Again, more PR, more heat. Where, what is our heat up to? Ah, 164. That's fine. We can cope with that. How about the uh, object acquisition? 
Why don't we start a covert op on that? And with extra money to burn, let's just keep the paths going on here. These paths don't really do anything that I can see. They certainly don't seem to follow paths around as much as one might like, but they look great, and really that's the important part. You know what I'd like to get? I'd like to get a little courtyard around here. Just something nice and decorative where I can put down Todd's statue. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't quite center. Well, now that's a problem, isn't it? Uh, I can just, oh, I can flip Todd back and forth. All right, it's not, you know what? Put two down. That'll make it nice and centered. There we go. Couple of statues of Todd. Let's make sure those are nicely illuminated with some lampposts here and here. And then grass we've already got. Is there any kind of like bushes or something you could show me? There we go. But a couple of bushes. Actually, you know what? Do the whole back row. 200 bucks a pop. No worries. We're going to have a lot more $6 yoga in the very near future. A couple of flags here and here. Oh, yeah. That Now we're getting somewhere. Maybe a rock? You could, you could sit on the rock and reflect on the majesty and the tax exemption of Todd. Oh ho, hang on, hang on. It looks like Alexander here has been through the Pool of Revelations and your quality is average. You're actually not bad. Not bad at all. Alexander, come talk to me. Would you like to join the Church of Todd the Spicy? Would you like to live here? Oh, you're at home. Okay, when you get in in the morning, Alex, talk to us. So M just got back from the object acquisition and we got a box and a pendant of some sort. I'm just trying to see what rooms could use a little bit of, you know, kind of perking up around here. Not um, a lot. We've actually done pretty well with that. You know what? Throw them in the hypnotherapy room, maybe. Get me uh, just some stuff I can put stuff on, please. Put one there, and then we'll put another thing over here. Even though we've already got another thing, it's not going to hurt to have more things. So there's an antique box. Let's put that up right here. That's where you can put, like, your keys and your wallet while you're doing your yoga. Because you don't want them to fall out of your pockets and stuff. Nobody likes that. And a silver pendant. That could live over here. I don't know what that is, but it, it's a thing that has to do with hypnotherapy in some way. Yeah, Alex is in for the morning. Alex, would you be interested in joining us? Because you're average, and that's actually better than anything we've ever had. Yep, Alex is in. No surprise, Alex is in. And you're average. We like that about you. Why don't you have the brand new bedroom that I just put up here? You can have this guy right here. There you go. Alex, welcome to the team will kind of try and sort you out. So right now you're good at nothing at all. So why don't you just do everything? Anything you feel the need to do, you go ahead and do that. What if we did, what if we flipped you around a little bit? Why don't you work in the afternoon and then, I don't know, that's a lot of free time, Alex. That's a lot of free time. I'm going to give you a little bit of work in the morning. So you can get up in the morning and apparently completely have free time. Grab breakfast. You can grab lunch here, dinner there. Okay, see how that floats for you, Alex. And with Alex on board, that is probably an excellent place to call it on Honey, I Joined a Cult for today. Love to get the new meditation studio up and running. If Claire could just nip over and finish reading the last few pages of how to have more yoga mats, that would be fantastic. Food is... um dwindling rapidly, as it always does, but everything else is just wonderful in the Church of Todd the Spicy. The light, the beauty, the truth, the hope, and the tax exemption of the Church of Todd the Spicy. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of Honey, I Joined a Cult, and how you plan to be more Todd in your day-to-day -day life. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to go embrace my fate. I'm going to go give fate a big old hug. Just walk up and tongue kiss fate. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Citizens Tropco, everything is under control. This is, this is not a fire.
This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish?